Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman and welcome to sunny, very, very sunny California. I'm here hanging out with Joe Leach, doing some live stuff. Just absolutely typical Californian view. <laughs> We're in a kind of a cool, quirky hotel. Excuse the mess. Garment storage. Hilreig. Koyrig. Beginning to kick myself, it looks like I only bought three picks with me. These picks are the ones that I use all the time. I've tried everything else. I really, really love them. And I love them because they don't move. They're mega consistent because they they don't budge. So you have to bend around them. And I've always found that my picking accuracy and speed is way better with these. You know, viewers, when it's time to snack, I don't snack fake. I snack real with Eat Real. <laughs> Slide make a pretend commercial. Uh, these are the best snacks in the entire galaxy. I'm guessing because I've only visited this one planet. White cheddar flavour, gluten free and vegan for my gluten free and vegan bros, of which I know two others. <laughs> Interesting artwork. Interesting artwork. Interesting artwork. Oh. Hey, you want one? When's the last time they updated an app and you said, wow, that's a great update? Uh, whenever they update my game. Your game? This is my, my characters. I feel I've been developing my Frost Unicorn a lot more recently. Superior animal. Uh, can dance like that too. Uh, I'm also really proud of my wolf. My wolf is really good. Oh, Ridge. Look at the handsome, beautiful, wonderful shirt. I can't point, it's really hard to point the right way and it's like a mirror. I was just ironing this shirt and it's kind of interesting. This has like a film on it. Oh, you did iron it? I did, It's. I did the best. It's new, it's a brand new shirt. <laughs> it's really surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> If you want to get so, some shots, let me know and I can switch over to something I that's maybe already avoid, out. Like avoid that oh, angle? Once, once we're the wet. Are you comfortable, dude? I would love to have a pipe right now. Just midway through the edit, and I'm going to pause right here because I've just found a whole load of footage that I didn't know existed um, that apparently I took while I was in New York uh, hanging out with beer and a couple of really cool Chapman Guitars artists. And I thought, you know what? It definitely belongs in this blog right here. Welcome to this pointless blog while I'm in New York with my buddy Rabia. He's going to be filming a much more enjoyable and professional blog of this entire experience. <laughs> this is the blog you watch if you just want stupid shit that's going to happen randomly all the time. All the way from Norway, weighing in at some weights. By Chapman, this is an ML3 Pro Modern. And uh, this is a really great pedal called the Light Speed that I'm checking out from Chris. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's beers. It smells like a cannabis farm. We're here, man. Let's do this thing. Perfect. It's like... Yeah. It looks oh, like a... Beehive. It's like it's a big like, beehive, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. What is it? I just don't know how to place what it is. Hey, look. Is, is that the World Trade Center? Yeah, yeah, so that's the new building. Oh, wow. Oh, the man who's going to teach you guitar. Kind of a weird story. Never will I experience a fresh slice of pie. You haven't had it. Wait, are you lactose intolerant or vegan? Oh, okay. So yeah, I can't have cheese. There's gotta is, be. There's vegan pizza places. Yeah, but it isn't. Sure. It isn't right. a proper piece of za. Got you. you know. It would be amazing if I totally lined it up perfectly. Bridge pathway in the sky. Skids pathway in the pie. In the pie scathway. Clinics went really well yesterday. Really exciting. Loads of people turned up, which was quite cool. In fact, a lot more than I was expecting, to be really honest with you. Uh, currently on the way to Times Square, get a quick coffee, and then um, we're doing another clinic. And we're also shooting some videos. It's just, you know what, it's just mega non-stop. To be honest, 
I'm jet lagged and I feel like I haven't played enough guitar and it's the one thing, I think Gutter was talking about this at the Larvik Clinic, it's the thing that you don't expect is that you're not going to get to play as much guitar as you'd like when that's what you do for a living because you're in hotels, you're flying, you're just going all over the place. A friend, follower called Chef Brian, who's invited us for dinner tonight. So we're gonna go and hang out with Chef Brian. He's not your typical chef. No. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is take your opportunities to play whenever you can if you're a busy guy. And I guess that applies to if you're a dad or if you work nine to five or if you've just got a really busy, hectic lifestyle. I think I'm realizing now, leave a guitar in the bedroom, leave a guitar in the bathroom, leave a guitar in the kitchen. And um, if you get your 15, 20 minutes, whenever you can, it's all gonna add up. As long as you're still passionate about sort of practicing and playing what you're gonna do, I think you'll be okay. That's what I'm gonna do anyway, because it's getting to the point where I, I don't get the chance to play a warm up or practice, and I've gone into a few situations completely cold as a player, and it's just been a little bit extreme. Um, that's my message for the day. Jeff is responsible for all of the internal, well, lots of the internal wizardry inside a lot of boss things. He knows way more than I will ever know We've about known anything. Him for a total of, I think it's about seven minutes now too. So it's definitely very fast. See, more. That, that, but that's all I know is seven minutes worth of stuff now. Okay. You know, just ask my girlfriend. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so we take the DNA test. So this guy's fun. I just want to show, uh, show Jeff this guitar. Okay, so it's, be, it's going now? Yeah, it's so you don't even trust me. This is a guitar <laughs> a wonderful Rick Leach made. And, um, oh, it's in a bag, so it ruins the sort of the unboxing. No, 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 it doubles it, right? It doubles it. <laughs> that is so amazing. There you go. That. Swamp Ash, ML1. And, um, I signed it because we sold it to a great customer called Weston from Rift City Guitar and then I had to buy it back from him. <laughs> so it's the only guitar I've ever owned that I've signed. But you're going to play it today, so. Oh, I feel so honoured. And it's cool as shit. AF. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like a battered barn door of gent. Well, when you said purple, I expected like that dark purple. Like, yeah. like I, this is like black light purple. Yeah, it is. It is. That's exactly the color. Do we have a black light. You do a really interesting picking thing where it looks like you're all turned to picking. But I can tell that you've done some economy shit before as well, huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cool. yeah, yeah. so you're, you're, you, you like the neoclassical stuff as well, and yep. So economy picking, I kind of do, and so sometimes I, I full pick. It, yeah. Right. It also depends, like, like right, my hand, my hands aren't warmed up yet. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they sound warm, man. Yeah. They sound so, very so warm. Otherwise, guys, I'll just let the left hand do, it, do all the work if I can. <laughs> you know. This guy. Is something else. <laughs> I, I love your guitar tone, so what amp are you using? Uh, when I recorded that, that was like seven, eight years ago. Right. I think, well, I think it's blended. I think I have a park on one side and I have a, uh, um, uh, I think it's a rectifier on the other side. Right. Yeah. Interesting. It's going to happen soon. Until yeah. that happens. And here I am in the middle of two massively loud, loud monitors getting completely pummeled by sound. You get So, I don't know if I ever told you this. This guitar is not, this body is not the original body. We went through 
two of these. Rick went through two of them uh, because the first one he completely. Are you gonna bleep? Skittles, in the sense that uh, he uh, sandblasted it. I think it was too deep, uh, and then he also. This is not the way uh, the guitar was set up for the paint. He first painted the purple in the grooves and tried to do the black on the outside. And it did not look the way, well he didn't like it. I, he just brought me a chunk of wood, which I still have in my office, uh, of the original. And I liked it, but he didn't. And so he said, I want to try again, I want to try again. And then he delivered this guitar and everybody freaked out and um, you, know, you know the story from there. And nobody's ever heard me swear before, so you're gonna have to bleep that. I out. promise you that I'll bleep out the word that you used with the word that you choose to say right now. Skittles. Had my first ever Mexican meal yesterday, proper Mexican meal. Um, it was really good, really spicy, really delicious, really healthy, really fresh. And man, they're loud and amazing musicians. Finished all the boss stuff yesterday, that was really cool. And now I'm just absolutely loving the sunshine of California. And we're off to Venice Beach. Joe has never been to Venice Beach. I have no idea what everybody's fascination with the beach is. And quite frankly, I'm excited about showing him the delights of the sand and the sea. I never loved the beach. Joe hates the beach. I don't, I don't know that I hate the beach. I he has a hatred of sand. I'm not a beach person. <laughs> And he has a lot of work to do. And I have a lot of work to do. But I'm taking the Venice Beach. Now that's a fire. Yeah, three. Hi, this is Cali Hustle 2010 at youtube.com. And we are here with Joe and Rob. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, man. You too. Take it easy, buddy. Have a good one. See you later. All right. <laughs> Venice Beach, bro. Your first time, buddy. You excited? I am so excited. Can't you see by the look on my face? I'm excited to get some food. I'm saying food that way, beach that way. You need some sunglasses. We'll just go buy you some sunglasses. I think we'll buy some sunglasses. It's a great idea, Joe.